We continue to follow breaking news. Five former Memphis police officers have been charged with murder in the deaths of Tyree Nichols. The 29-year-old father died of his injuries after he was beaten during a traffic stop earlier this month. We're here today because of a tragedy that wounds one family deeply, but also hurts us all. The death of Tyree Nichols. Authorities in Memphis announcing that the five former officers are facing charges including secondary murder, aggravated kidnapping, and assault. It happened on January 7th. The DA says there was an initial traffic stop and altercation involving several officers and Nichols in which pepper spray was deployed. Nichols took off on foot. There was another altercation uh, at a nearby location at which the, the, the serious injuries uh, were experienced by Mr. Nichols. After some period of time of um, waiting around afterwards, he was taken away by an ambulance. Nichols died three days later of injuries said to include internal bleeding. His family is devastated. All I know is my son was a great, great kid. He didn't deserve what he got. Now what he deserves is justice. Authorities say a police tape of the violent encounter will be released tomorrow evening. Those who've seen it say it's appalling. Frankly, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm sickened by what I saw and what we've learned through our extensive and thorough investigation. The Memphis police chief issued a statement urging that any protests remain peaceful and saying the department's investigation is ongoing. This is not just a professional failing. This is a failing of basic humanity toward another individual. This incident was heinous, reckless, and inhumane. Late today, an attorney for one of the accused officers, Desmond Mills Jr., spoke out. Not only is, is Mr. Mills obviously devastated to find himself charged with a crime, but uh, to be accused of something like this hurts him on another level. Two EMTs are also charged in this case. Nichols' funeral will be next week.